Hello everyone and welcome back to Revs and Reviews. Today I have a pretty special car and I've actually never been in a Jaguar. Today I have a 2020 Jaguar XE P250 all-wheel drive. This one is pre-owned and it's priced just under $30,000 and it has around 46,000 miles on it. Now I've never been in a Jaguar and I'm super excited to mess around with this car and really like review it. Now the first thing I noticed was this really bold front end with those LED headlights as well as the LED turn signals, vents down there as well as that big Jaguar stamp with that pretty small grille and same thing over here as well as front parking sensors. Now overall I really do like this one. I really do like the rims down there. They have a little bit of road rash but that's all right. You also have this Jaguar emblem down there and a really fine body lines all the way around. Now like I said, this one's priced just under $30,000. This is a non-smoker car. It smells really good inside like a brand new car. And it kind of reminds me of a BMW. Like, I kind of see like the M4 vibes. But maybe that's just me. Now, across the back here, you're going to get that Jaguar badge with the P250 all-wheel drive S and the XE badge. Now, let's take a look under the hood and see what's powering this Jaguar. Under the hood of this Jaguar, you're going to get a 2.0 liter engine, getting you around 24 in the city and 34 in the highway. I will put a little comment to the side on this video to show you the full engine specs, but overall it is a very clean vehicle and I really do like this vehicle. Now let's take a further look around, and of course on this one you do not have hood struts, which is really nice that it's a really nice fine looking hood. I really like the Jaguar badges around. And overall, for 2020, this one is really, really clean. Now, it is pretty windy out here, so we're going to hop on inside and see what Jaguar brings to the table for technology. You are going to get keyless entry on all four doors. And here to the door panel, you're going to get this really nice design with three memory seat adjustments, as well as that nice piano black on this black leather door panel with grayish blackish stitching a great sounding audio system but a really really small cup holder down there and then you also are going to have that jaguar stereo system giving you that plated material right there which is really nice jaguar emblem down here as well as full power seats which are black leather and you got a little Jaguar stamp up there, which is really, really nice. And these seats for 50,000 miles have held up really well. The passenger seat over there is also power and you also do get a one panel sunroof. Now let's see what Jaguar brings to the table for technology. The interior of this 2020 Jaguar, I am really impressed. And I actually drove this vehicle over here and it is super, super nice. Now down here, you are gonna get a full digital slash analog display, which is fully customizable with your different drive mode selectors. Now on the steering wheel here, I did notice you are gonna get lane keeping assist as well as front AB as well as rear AB. And then you also are gonna get phone connection as well as these different control buttons right here. I also really do like the Jaguar stamp right here. Ooh, you got an aggressive horn as well. And then down here, I really like how bold and how nice the steering wheel is. And driving it over here, it was really smooth and I really, really do like this vehicle. Now over here, you are gonna get this um, digital display here with Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. A really easy to navigate um, screen. And then of course, you're gonna have your different cameras here. You're gonna have um, your 360 view and then we can turn that off. And then look at that. You even get a picture of the Jaguar here with your different parking sensors. Now I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna tap the screen and go back here. You're gonna get built-in navigation with that built-in stereo system. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, like I said, and then you can set up your maps, your phone, and then you're going to have the different um, radio settings. And I really like the Jaguar badge up there and then the Jaguar badge here in that vent, which is also really, really nice. Now down here, you're going to get dual climate as well as um, those little screens on there, which will show you what your climate's at. Um, all gloss black down here, which is kind of nice. I'm not a fan of it, but it does get the job done. Not as much fingerprints on there, but it is still pretty nice. Now, dual climate, like I said, you got the sink for the um, 
dual climate. You got the different modes here. It will show you up here actually. And then it shows you the temperature outside and it's currently 55 degrees. You have a wireless charger down here and then similar to BMW, you're gonna have your start engine stop and then your different drive modes here. And then you are going to have your adaptive cruise control, traction control, and then a little volume knob over here in which I cannot share the audio system with you because I will get striked for it. Now up here, you're gonna have a one panel sunroof and then Jaguar's little SOS button up there, which is similar to BMW. Now to switch gears on the vehicle, there's a little lever behind here. Drive is all the way back. Reverse is all the way front. And then to get it into neutral, you have to push it over and like bop it. And then park is right here, which is really nice. Now let's go over the different drive modes. And I really do like the selector here. Now to start, you are going to have dynamic, then you are going to have comfort, eco, rain and ice, and then those are your different drive modes. I'm going to leave it in eco right now. And as you can see on the dash, 45,978 miles, which is not that bad for a 2020, and it still holds its value. Now, these are full digital like integration screens, which I really do like. And overall, they are very nice, sexy looking Jaguar badge right there. And I really am comfortable for six feet tall, and I am really, really taller than this car. Like, I, th I didn't think I was going to be able to fit in this car, but overall, for six feet tall, I got a lot of leg room, and the leg room is amazing. Now, over here, like I said, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, but I really wanted to focus on the stitching here on this dashboard. You're going to have that gray stitching, and overall, a really nice design here, and it's giving that really nice bold jaguar design now i know the video in here was a little bit shorter because honestly it's a jaguar there's a lot of technology in here and then of course down here you're gonna have that 12 volt charger two cup holders which are closable with that really nice design right there and then in your center console here you're gonna get a 12 volt um two usb as well as an sd port and then that's about it down there it's a little storage compartment and like i did say it smells super duper clean in here, no smoke scent at all. And then here is a look at the paperwork here. You are gonna get a, like I said, 45,000 miles, 24 in the city, 34 in the highway. It's all wheel drive. And the interior is this like oyster color. If, I don't know if you can see that. And then overall, the price that it's listed at before taxes and stuff is $28,495. So I like to round up my prices to around 30, 30 ish thousand dollars for this vehicle. Now, overall, you can fully customize the screen up here. I know I was like jumping around there for a minute, but you can fully customize this to your media driver settings, driver assistant, and then it is really, really easy to control here. You can even go through your different vehicle settings, vehicle info, driver assistance, your trip, and then, of course, you can scroll over one more to your info panel, and I'm just going to leave it on speedometer here and then i'm kind of curious on where the home button is as you can see it might get a little bit um hard to get used to here oh why is she talk oh okay so i accidentally pressed a voice assistance we're gonna turn her off oh there we go okay and as you can see i fully customized it over there and as you can see a really nice simple setup here and this vehicle does sound pretty nice i will have to say now let's hop into the back seats and see what's shaken in the back seats now to the back seats here you're gonna get that leather door panel with that wood grain accenting which is like a piano black Different silver plated accentings, a pretty small cup holder down there with that great Jaguar audio system, which is really nice. No window shades or anything because this isn't your full top of the line trim. But back here, we are gonna hop in and as you can see, full black leather seats, not that much stitching back here or anything, but it is still pretty nice. Back here, you are also going to get the two cup holders in the middle. And now let me move my seat to my exact driving position and we will hop back here in the back seats of the jaguar this one did come optioned out with that um factory uh clothing rack back here so i'm pretty sure the last owner i'm not for sure this is just my impression but maybe they was like a businessman or something but back here you do have these little um straps to hold stuff a uh, rear climate back here as well as a little cubby with two 12 volts no heated or ventilated seats back here up front, you do get heated and ventilated seats. I did forget to mention that. And then up here, you're going to get that one panel sunroof, which is nice. 
and I'm six feet tall and my head touches about like right here. So not that much headroom, but it is a really, really small car. Now, I really do want to mention how comfortable the seats are and overall how luxurious you will feel, even though this car is only $30,000. And honestly, I really do like the air vents and that little Jaguar badge down there. And I did forget to mention, you do get Jaguar emblemed all weather floor mats throughout the whole entire vehicle. Overall, the back seats were very comfortable back here. And for six feet tall, I have plenty of room back here, but I would rather be driving up front. Now let's hop into the trunk and see how much junk we can fit in the trunk. One thing I don't usually go over is going to be the key fob, but this key fob is really luxurious. It's that like typical Range Rover key, but with your Jaguar badge, you can turn on all the lights here and then you can open your trunk. I believe you do got to hold it maybe, or maybe the car locked when I got out of it. Let's switch to the other key here. But yes, you can turn on all of the lights here. You can even pop your trunk, which is power, which I do like. And then, of course, you are going to get your trunk release, unlock, lock, and then panic, which is really nice. Now, back here, I did just realize there is a lot of accessories back here. You get this little sun cover, a 12 volt over here, and then your different first aid packages with the Jaguar emblem, carpeted floor mats that are included, and then that rear liner, which is all weather. I would put a bumper protector there if I was the owner of this vehicle, but overall, a lot of cargo space. You can fold the back seats down to get even more cargo space, but I mean, if I were buying this vehicle, I wouldn't be putting like wood or anything back here. And overall, I haven't been able to find a spot to put a Stanley Cup, so you might have to fold down the seats to put a Stanley Cup back there. I don't know, we'll have to see. Now, overall, for just under $30,000 and for about 46,000 miles, I should say, this is a beautiful, beautiful sedan. I love the Jaguar emblems. I love the wheels. And overall, it sounds great and it's amazing. It sounds absolutely amazing. It's a luxurious sedan that's pre-loved and deserves a little bit more love. Now, let me, do, let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think about this Jaguar. Is it worth $30,000 with 50,000 miles? Let me know in the comments down below. And a huge thank you to Gordy Boucher for Lincoln in West Bend, Wisconsin for letting me come out and review this beautiful Jaguar. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.